Hey guys, Sean James here again from MySelfReliance.com. You probably noticed on a lot of my trips that I like to take Bannock for uh, for one of my meals or or as an accompaniment to to my meals. So here's my recipe. Bannock is very simple. Basically, flour, baking powder, and salt. And you can eliminate the salt if you want. Baking powder and flour uh, really is all it is. I like to add a few other things to make it more nutritious, uh, better tasting, and more filling. So generally, what I'll do is I'll start with uh, three three cups of all-purpose flour. I prefer whole wheat flour. If I'm going to mix it just before a trip, I'll use whole wheat flour because I prefer the taste and it's better for you. However, it does spoil. So whole wheat flour, having the whole grain uh, in, you know, still in the flour, it will go rancid if you don't refrigerate it. So what you should do with all whole wheat flour, in fact, is anything that's going to uh, that you're not going to use within the first three months of buying it should actually go in the freezer. So if I'm going to pre-mix a batch of Bannock, I'll I'll use all-purpose flour for that reason. When I'm making a batch, I'll use three cups of flour. I use two tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and then, like I said, I like to add a few other things. So I'll add some sugar. So either brown sugar or my preference, natural sugars. I'll use uh, maple sugar, so dehydrated maple syrup. So and that's it. Uh, but when I really want to add calories, I'll also add some fat to it. So either ghee, organic ghee, which you'll see I'm cooking with today. Uh, oil, olive oil, I always take uh, on trips, I take some little bottles of olive oil. I use that for frying and I also use it for adding directly to the meals for the added calories and taste. Uh, so that's that's really unnecessary if you just want to do a basic bannock. But I like the I like to fry it and I like to add the oil. Uh, and then, then the other thing is uh, uh, berries. If it's blueberry season, I'll add blueberries to it. If, whatever I can find in the, in the wild. But if I'm taking stuff from home, trail mix. So nuts, uh, fruit, and nuts, fruit, and uh, seeds. I'll add directly into the bannock mix. So. That I'll add uh, uh, about three eighths of a cup of water is usually enough to incorporate it fully. It makes a nice consistent dough that you can either wrap around a stick and cook it that way, or put it in a frying pan, or just put it into like an oven. Uh, you can also stuff bannock. I'll do another recipe, um, so stay tuned for that. I'll do another recipe where I stuff it full of fish and then bake it, which is really cool. So a little tip is to use your pot and pan set as a double boiler. So the good thing is you can boil water at the same time. If you put a half liter or, or a full liter of water into your pot, put the pan on top or another small pot, put the bannock in that. Oil the pan first if you can and put the bannock in the top pan so you're, it's now indirect heat, so the, the frying pan is going to be heated up by the boiling water, by steam, rather than directly from the flames. So that's going to distribute that heat evenly, and it'll stop your bannock from burning. Check out, if you want more details on the ingredients for this, as well as some variations as well, and the calorie count, which is important, just go up there and click on that link, and it'll take you to the website. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it.